This is Global Telling. This call originates from a Louisiana correctional facility and may be recorded or monitored. I have a collect call from Christy, an inmate at Louisiana Correctional Institution. Your call is being connected. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. Some people say 20 years would have been a life sentence for Christy. It never would have been that. Her said life. It meant till death. And, and that's where people's not understanding. When you have a lawyer that's going to tell you you're going to get life, you're thinking 20 years, forget it. I don't even know what it would have felt like to be 16 years old and being at home. You know, to be able to be that teenager and to be able to live life and experience so many things, you know, um, being stripped away from all of that and growing up here, I look at all of the young people that continuously come in here and my heart aches for them. A sentence is a sentence, okay, but something that harsh, it shouldn't have to be. Because those children never had a life to begin with. That's only 12 years on this earth and now their life is taken away at 12 to 15 and 16 with that kind of harsh sentence, that's not right. That's just not right. We are not saying that children should not be punished. We are saying that they should be punished in ways that reflect their immaturity and special potential for rehabilitation and change. We are not seeking to excuse their crimes or to say that consequences of those crimes do not bear as much suffering as crimes of adults. Christy Sheremy has spent half of her life in prison. She has now a chance to change this. She has submitted an application of executive clemency with the Louisiana Board of Pardons, and Amnesty International is calling on the Louisiana governor to grant clemency to Christy Shermy and to reduce her sentence in line with international human rights standards. I want to take and show you Christy's room. This is, this is her bedroom. This was her grandfather here, and she stayed there. This is the last thing she took off was her pajamas. These are her dolls, her hat that she used to wear. There's her shoes right where she left them. Just dust them now and then. Where did you think you was going that night that he took you away from us? All I knew is that I had to, if he told me to be there, being that he had that control, and that's where I had to be. He was very aggressive, and I was scared to death for my own life. Would I ever allow somebody to do that to me again? No. Would I ever allow somebody to have that control over my mind I again? Know, honey, I know. No. And if I had to do it all over again, I would have given my own life for hers. I could just see her laying there on those pillars in her little bed. And we talking across each other at night, telling stories about what went on the day. That's the last I saw her at home. Christy Sharmy is one of the three individuals featured in our report. This report aims to remind the USA that it is the only country in the world with Somalia which has not ratified the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Today, 193 countries have ratified this convention. It is long past time for the USA to ratify the convention. With this report, we aim to urge President Obama to work with his administration and the Senate to ratify the convention as soon as possible. It's a possibility that things won't go as I wish and pray for them to go. And it's a possibility that I will have to die here. You but know, what, what's gonna, what we're gonna do if this thing is denied? And regardless of that decision that they make, it's not gonna okay. stop me from striving 
to become better. It's not going to stop me from trying to reach out to others around me who are in the same situation. It's not ever going to stop me from trying to fight for my freedom. It's never going to stop. But I would just like for them to look at the individual and see who I am today and not judge me by what I was and not look at the little girl but see the woman that I've become. Hear you. Grandma, I love you. My strength comes from you and God. And without you, I couldn't make you do this. Just know that I love you. Bye.